You too. What's going on? It's your boy Draco. Welcome back to the channel for another video. Today, I am finally doing the Twister review. I have had these products for about a week, maybe a week and maybe two, maybe two for real. I've been busy. Say it ain't no holes in here. It's just the bros in here. Whole lot of niggas that's ready to kill you. Know they clutching that pole in here. You can get froze in here. They got stoves in here. Wasn't the count trying to stick out the pole, but you know I'm throwing them foes in here. And they say I'm gonna make it. I feel like I'm chosen. Yo, engine is still in the back. Ran up a check with my niggas. I'm still trying to get it. Hope grandma don't have heart attack. Went to see all of this money on this and to get it. I got it. Ain't no going back. It ain't no trunk in the back. This shit ain't never been count. This shit get deeper than rap. And I'm good in the hood. I go back to the trap. I got a different. So I had, you know, Fister sent me all of this. I originally bought, uh oh, originally bought this holster. They sent me this accent pouch. Shout out to them. I actually gonna insert the video showing you everything that I got from them somewhere right here. All right, YouTube. I am somewhere safe. You see that package? What it say? Fister, Draco with. Dang, bro, these packages be so hard to open, bro. Shout out to Fister, man. No, they they love your boy. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So look, here we go. Oh, oh snap. Oh shit. All right. So we got the the Fister Pro. The Fister Pro. I thought it was supposed to come with a Enigma. Okay, here you go. The Fister Pro, right? With the Enigma. All I gotta do is, you know what I'm saying, put that together, and I got another one. To, one of these look, y'all can't see the camera. Cool. And then, oh yeah. Then I got my outside the waistband, flood light. Ooh, I got that shit, boy. Hold on, hold on. Then I got my pouch. And I got my mad pouch. Man, neat, man. Moment of silence, man. I'm just about ready, man. I'm just appreciating Filster for sending me all this stuff, man. They, they got your boy right, bro. Look at the packaging, look at the package, bro. They got you. They got your boy right, man. Y'all go shop Fuster, man. Y'all go shop Fuster. I've been telling y'all, get y'all a holster. Y'all wear, y'all wear sweatpants like me. Get you, a, get you a Fuster, my boy. Get you a Fuster, my boy. Get you a Fuster, my boy. Spend that money, my boy. Get you a Fuster. Get you a Fuster. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Y'all want to know the review on the Fuster? I think personally, Fuster makes great products for consumers, man. This right here was uh, the original host that I bought without without the uh, accent pouch. And the thing I wanna note about this accent pouch is uh, it's not like every other mag carrier, you know what I'm saying? Because I have a mag carrier right here. We're gonna get to this later. But I have a tier one concealment holster on the Enigma rig. And I'm gonna tell you why, but we'll get to that later. But Side note, I have a FN545. This is the magazine. This is the side card. This is polymer, I want to say. It's fixed. It's not going to allow me to insert my FN in here. Oh, which doesn't matter because this holster isn't made for FN. But our uh, side card is not the same. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. With the filter side card, this is a pretty thick magazine, my boy. 45. 18 of them fits right in here, along with the gun. Fits right in here. I got 15 and 18. Well, the sidecar can do that. I mean, well, I know a couple, but just an advantage of having a filter sidecar, you know what I'm saying? And then look at the matching, the matching decals, like, you know, the gray, the gray kind of carbon fiber-ish looking thing. Okay, like, this one is, is wore down. I had this one for a minute, but, if I put these two together, you see, you see they match. You know what I'm saying? You see the carbon fibers match. Nice, right? Nice. All right. So let's get into how do you put this thing on? I like to do it with the gun is that keeps the weight on it. Uh, I feel like doing it without a gun, or without everything else, is like make sure things a little flimsy. But first, you want to do is uh. Loosen this up. You're gonna go around your body. This is a magnet. You heard it. Hold on. That's how you detach. 
quick detach too. Magnet. All right, so that's a magnet. And then this usually goes inside my pants, but for the video purposes, I'm gonna put it outside. So this is the thigh leash, it goes around or leg leash, whatever you wanna call it. This right here is actually what keeps the holster down. This keeps it in place, don't move up and down, whatever. But when you're actually drawing your gun, that, that leg leash stops it. So that's really important. Really like it because um, when I used to buy holsters, they used to come with this um, weird, like, it's for a belt. But you know I don't wear belts. I don't wear like jeans. I'm not really like a jean type of dude. But I will put up some jeans for this video to show you how the filter in different environments. You feel me? You can wear it with anything. Suit, dress clothes, regular, you know what I'm saying? Baggy stuff like this. Actually, you know what? I can't even give y'all like a real concealment thing, but you, you kind of see. I just want y'all to see how this works. And then hit him with a boom, you know what I'm saying? Reload. I told y'all this thing does fit in here. Boom, boom, boom. My downs are never gonna hate me. <laughs> Let's not do that again. But yeah, but you, you get the point, right? Oh, oh, and also this. No, this is an O light. PL3 Valkyrie. This is fit for a TLR1. That's what this is fit for. So when you go on the website, you get to get this filter. Floodlight 2 holster in a uh, TLR1 or a Streamlight X300. So there's only two options you can get, but this is the concealment. This is how it looks with the big 4.5 with 18 rounds and a 15 round inside the gun. I mean, if you ask me, man, that's, oh, I'm, I lied. <laughs> I lied. This is the Glock with an 18 round. Let me give you the Glock with the Glock mag. So, this is how I would carry this bigger mag in the spare. That's my 17. Here's my 15 in the gun. Flush mag. And just watch that disappear, man. This is a medium sized shirt. I'm not a big guy. But watch that disappear, man. Wait, wait, wait what can't you like about the filter, bro? Look at it. Sweatpants. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right, I got two pair of pants. I want to show y'all the concealment in different clothes too. So I got some uh, dress pants right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and slip these on. I'm gonna keep talking so y'all can understand the, the perks that it's hosted. Like, oh yeah, did I tell y'all? This ain't attached to my clothes at all. It's not attached to my clothes at all. Let me go ahead and wrap this around. Every time I ask somebody to ask about this holster, I'd be like, bro, this is the best holster you can get, bro. Because, like I said, it's not attached to my body. I mean, I mean, I was in the dressing room yesterday. I thought, I'm just going through clothes. You know, usually you got to take the holster off, do all that extra. I just drop my pants, put my pants on, you know what I'm saying? If you pants me right now, I still bust your ass. But, I'm right here still, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, take that off, put this one on. Smooth, just like that, brother. Just like that. <laughs> out, of, out of those pants, into these pants, with the filter still on, intact. You can't tell me that's not a good perk. You can't tell me it's not a good perk. Go ahead and slip them sides. Oh my. Oh my lordy. You can conceal in, in, in anything, man. Oh my. Where, where's the gun, man? Now, honestly, there is a little print. But let's think about it. You are um, at work. If you have on these, you gotta have on the blazer to match, right? Right. So you, and then you're gonna have on like a button down. It's gonna be pretty loose. You know, button downs be kind of like firm. So like the rigidness on the buttons is gonna kind of like, you know, help conceal that 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 little bulge right there. You know what I'm saying? They throw the suit over it, man. It'll be straight, bro. But yeah, this pretty much how it look. And I'm gonna switch into some jeans real quick. But somebody said you could have concealed the filter. Couldn't wear the filter in some jeans, man. I don't know about that one, bro. I told him just shoot. If, if you can't conceal the gun in the jeans, you need to bring the jeans 
bring your uh, gun higher because I like the filter because you can do that. Like a regular holster. Yeah, like I was saying, man, somebody said you can't conceal in, in jeans. That's not true. Now, I do understand what he was talking about. If I drop this down to my regular ride, regular uh, carry height, it has a little, a little bulge. But if you get a big enough shirt, you know what I'm saying, you can't really see that. But you see that little bulge right there? That little bulge? I, I see what he's saying, but it's, it's not nothing. If someone looking that hard, bro, then, 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 hey, man, I don't know what to tell you, bro. But for the most part, ain't nobody looking that hard. Ain't nobody gonna be able to tell you got a gun on. But I just want to show y'all three different pants. The filter does work. Now I'm gonna get out these jeans because you know I don't like jeans. I'd rather be in some cozy. Like I said, I'm gonna keep talking so you know the actual time it takes to change all these clothes and putting the clothes on because, like I said, quick, fast, in a hurry. You know what I'm saying? It's a jiffy. You know what I'm saying? I, I got, <laughs> got them back on already, man. But yeah, so now that we don't, you know, showed y'all the uh, original holster that I bought, let's get into the products that they sent me. All right, boom. See how cool that was? Untap tap the leg leash. Show you that real quick. And if you have any other questions that I don't answer, Filster has a learn more page and shows you how to conceal on their website. So just hit that button right there. Wait. Boom. Comes apart. Quick detach right here. Pull out the host. I mean, pull out the pants, man. You good? So that one's out the way. Now. Let's get into this one, okay? So when I got this, this was not put together. I had to put the uh, holster together, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it was a little difficult. Definitely, definitely difficult, all right? And this is the holster that's supposed to be on the Enigma rig, but here's why it's not. Let me show you, let me show you. All right, no holster, no screws. Why is the retention so tight? You know what I'm saying? That's my only issue with this. I don't like tight retention uh, guns. And I said I was gonna pull it up for you, but I'm probably not gonna switch it over to this one again because I'm, I just I just can't I can't use this so I'm probably gonna look the video the, the, the video of me uh, Showing you why I don't carry it. I did a short one so I might upload that short but All right, YouTube today is the day I make the filter review and I do have on the filter pro Without the light, but you see that right there. That's a problem for me when I draw my gun the the tension is too tight so that will be in the video, you know what I'm saying? The only way I can draw my gun without pulling my whole holster out is if I was to get into a shooting stance every single time with my leg all the way back, flex my uh, my leg so that it fills out the uh, leg leash, and then I can pull without having my holster. Because if I do it like this, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, you see the difference? You see the difference? All right, so I just switched back to the original, the one that I bought. I don't need to look for my leg in no specific way. I can fucking one leg, you know what I'm saying? The retention ain't a lot, but that's just how I like my shit. I don't like tight ass holsters. I'm gonna pull my shit. All right, YouTube, that'll be that. And this right here, this is fit to have a O-Light on it, but um, you don't really need it because the gun, the culture is made so well, I guess, I don't know. I actually didn't even buy this host. I got this host in the trade, but do like it. I would uh, recommend you putting it on an Enigma rig because it works. Same thing. Shut that in place. And the thing about the, the fister is you can adjust the ride height. Like, if I want my shit, 
to go all the way down here. I can carry my gun all the way down here. I mean, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be awkward, but it'll be some real deep concealment. You know what I'm saying? It'd be weird, but I can adjust the height to ride up here, all the way up here. Get that, get that tight for me. I can ride with my gun all the way up here, or I can drop it down a little bit lower. It's a little more comfortable. And then keep this on the outside. Show you how this works. Boom, boom. Bam. Quick, swift. I don't like the other one, man. That other one, way too tight for me. But um, I also want to show that uh, all these guns that I have with these oversized lights, they seem to fit the uh, the holster, the floodlight. Now, with this, uh, this light is a little bit longer than all the other lights, so you see the hand guard is, the trigger guard is exposed a little bit more, but they all seem to fit. So if you don't want to spend the 160, 150 on the TLR1, you can go with an Olight Valkyrie. That is, I believe this is like 80 something dollars. And this one is uh, about 50. But this one is a thousand lumens, which is crazy, right? The smaller one is brighter. But this one has more like a focus on it. Really bright too. Oh, oh, and, and, I'm gonna put my link down here because if you get the, uh, get the, the, the Olight with my link, you know what I'm saying? I get 10% off, well, you get 10% off, and I get a discount. I mean, I get something for it. You get 10% off. Just, just use my code, bro. All right. But, uh, so lastly but not least, we have the outside the waistband holes. Now, I don't have a belt to actually put this on and show you how it works, but um, I did use it two nights ago, part of my John Wick costume. It, it did, it did good, bro. It, it, it held the gun off. Of course it held the gun. Ain't nobody gonna snap my shit. But, uh, yeah, it held the gun. Okay, it doesn't work for that one. But this is for TLR1. It's not fit for Back. We'll put this chill out. I want to here and show you that. I think this right. I think this whole thing got some pretty good retention. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm not a retention person. I don't really care for it because I'm not gonna be upside down. But it's good to have, right? So, um, yeah. So this one has some pretty good retention because it's outside the waistband. It doesn't have any like level one. Oh, this is level one. It doesn't have any. Uh, thumb rock over or the little hood and the thumb thing, but this is cool when I uh, When I get outside, I want to you know, just start Using this, you know what I'm saying? Just look cool, honestly. You can give me a belt for it and I can show y'all how to use this thing, man, but uh, Yeah, bro Every single last gun will fit this holster as long as it has a TLR1 on it But like I said you don't want to get that, you get other options. Maybe some more out there that do fit, but the only two I have that I can confirm does fit the uh, TLR1 filter holsters. This is not that, but um, this is really smooth. And okay, let me let me just kind of show y'all how I put this thing on here, bro. I really don't want to do all this, bro, because there's a lot of unscrewing and all that, bro. this all right so um great products ultimately great products and as you see you don't need the filter the filter holster to use the filter enigma you can put pretty much any holster on here um i would go look on the website and see they have some a compatibility list for all the holsters that do fit and they might have some instructions on there to show you how to do this. But um, it's it's not rocket science, it's pretty easy. All I did was take the old hardware off, use the same screws, and put the Enigma on there. So it's, it, it's if you know how to solve problems, you can you can solve the problem. Simple, just a problem solver. But um, shout out to Filster for sending me all this stuff, man. I really appreciate this. 
if you ever order a filter or order an Enigma, you probably, if you, if you do order it with a filter hoster, they will send it set up already though, because my original hoster, my Floodlight 2, it came set up already. I had to do nothing. But with this one, I had to set it up, and which made me realize too, they set my hoster up for a right handy, for a righty. I had to switch it over to a lefty because when I got, when I got the accent pouch, bro, I didn't have this right here, it was over here. So how was I gonna put this on top of that? You know what I'm saying? And then like right on the left hand side, it, it, it wasn't gonna work. So I had to take this out, unscrew this, and then put, well, swap these out basically, bro. But anyway, it, even then, it's still just looping this through here, taking this screw out, putting the other screw in. It's, it's really easy to work, you're really customizable. I feel like it's the best host out here, bro. For real. Other than this, having a fixed retention, I do like the wedge. The integrated wedge does conceal, but when you're sitting down like this for a long period of time, like I was driving home with it, after wearing it for the whole day, I just sitting down at the shop again, uh, then went out my drive home. By the time I got like halfway home, this right here, this hard wedge was just pressing to my pelvic bone and it was just hurting. It hurt so much. Unlike this wedge where it has some cushion on it, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of soft. This doesn't really bother me that much, but this, by the end of the day, I was ready to take this shit off and scream. But um, if you don't care for that, you know what I'm saying, if you don't plan on having it on for like eight hours, cause I had it on for like eight hours, I was at work. So this could work for you. If you like, you like retention, strong retention, this could work for you. But um, for me personally, I can't do the retention because this has no hardware in it at all. And this is still holding my gun with a freaking death grip. Like, I <laughs> I wouldn't put the video in here or how it looks when I pull this out, bro. It just looks crazy. You see that? You seen that? How much force I got to use? Not finna bash the holster, though. It's a good holster, just not for me. All right. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe. And, um,. I appreciate y'all especially for hooking me up, man, with all this stuff, man. And and um I've been helping y'all, you know what I'm saying? Somebody actually text me like, hey bro, I really appreciate this. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? You put me on. Cause a lot of folks didn't even know what a filter was until you know what I'm saying. Your boy don't put them on. But uh, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, catch out another video.